Hey everyone, this is Justin at Digital Tutors, and in today's top tip, we'll look at how we can reposition fibers in ZBrush that have already been groomed. So here we have a character that we've added some fibers to here in ZBrush. We've added a little bit of hair to this guy. And let's say that we've, you know, we've gone through the process of creating our preview, got the hair looking the way that we wanted, and then we created a subtool. And then let's say we spent some time grooming this hair. And only once we got the grooming done did we realize, you know, actually his hairline needs to be forward. I need to actually move all of these hairs. Now, if we were to go back in time, when before we uh, actually groom this, you know, we could change our mask, move our mask up, and then the preview would grow hairs uh, up here, you know, from the new mask. But uh, at this point, we've spent so much time grooming this and making it look the way that we want to, we don't really want to have to go through that entire process again, just having to go in and replace the mask. It would be nice if we could just move the hairs. So we might think, well, we can go in and uh, maybe just grab the move brush. And start to pull these forward. Well, I can start to pull hairs forward, but you can see the roots are staying right where they are. So I can pull the tips in the middle of the fibers, but I can't pull the roots. So let's try uh, transpose. So, well, at least I can move the whole thing, right? So I can go ahead and grab this and move it, but we're still not able to move the roots. The roots are staying firmly planted. And if you think about it, it's really the uh, the behavior that you'd want in most cases. When we're going through and grooming the hair and moving hair around, typically you're going to want the, uh, the roots to stay planted where they are. You're not going to want to move them around. So it is uh, desirable in most cases, but in this case we want to be able to actually move the roots themselves. Now the reason that we can't move those roots is just because of some auto masking that's turned on in our brushes. So even if we go to transpose, you can see we have that selected. If we come down to our auto masking sub palette and our brush palette, you can see there's an item for auto mask fiber mesh. So that if uh, you look at this, you can see it's turned on and then we have an actual curve. So looking at this, we're not able to, uh, the root is being masked out. So if I turn this off and again use transpose, I can go ahead and move that entire mesh and the root follows along because it's not no longer auto masking. Okay, now that's using transpose. If you wanted to try to mask things off, it'd be difficult because there's so many individual fibers. We can go back and use our original move brush. And you can see here, I've got move selected. And if we come down to our auto masking sub palette, you can see that the auto mask fiber mesh is still activated. So again, I can move the fibers, but the roots are staying planted right where they are. Okay, so all I have to do is now turn this off temporarily and now I can move this hair up into the kind of hairline that I want so maybe this comes up move this up a little bit so we can modify this and we're not really we may have to go and tweak some of the grooming but we don't lose that grooming altogether by having to go back and remask and you know change uh, change the settings and then go back in and create new hair and then regroom it. Okay, we're able to now move it. Okay. So once we get that back up to where we want it, we can go ahead and turn our auto masking back on. Then we can maybe get our our groom brushes if we have to go and make some tweaks. Um, we can come in here and make any of those tweaks that we want to make. Let's actually I'm just gonna dial the draw size down a little. Okay, I'm going to comb that back there. And now we're able to kind of move that back around. Okay, so if you find yourself creating uh, a fiber mesh, it could be hair, it could be fur, whatever it is, um, and you need to go back and change the placement of the fur after the fact when you've already done a lot of grooming, if you don't want to go back to that preview uh, state uh, to, uh, to kind of redraw the mask and you need to just actually move it around and you need to move the roots, just keep in mind that you need to go into the auto masking of whatever brush it is that you're using and turn off this auto mask fiber mesh or change the curve so that you can uh, now access the roots and move those around. So next time you're working in your fiber projects, whether it's hair or fur or whatever it is you're doing, uh, if you need to move the roots, check out the auto masking feature in your brush. <laughs>